Oh my God, it's happening. All right, I'm gonna wait to see if people come on. I really hope I'm in the right place. Oh my God, there's one person, hi. I don't know who you, Cassie, my girl. Hi, babe. My hands are sweating. Laura, hi, Laura. <laughs> hi. Look, I look like a normal person today. My girls, Laura and Cassie, and I'm sure we'll have a bunch. And Christina, hi, Brit. Or, I just called you Brittany. Because that's my name. Hi, Christina. I hope that uh, little Carly Ann's feeling better. Um, this will be on replay. Um, I know, from what I know, or I'm going to replay it. You'll learn real quick. Real quick. Ask my girls. I am um, a bit of a ditz. Not going to lie. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna wait because it's literally I hit it at as soon as it turned 8:30. So I'm gonna wait for some people to come on. Melissa, I can honestly say I'm very nervous. Um, if you cannot tell, my hair keeps falling in front of my face. I'm sorry. Hi, Bridget. Staring at myself is awkward. Let me see if I can invite people. I don't know if I should do that. I see more people. <gasps> lots more people. Well, not lots, but lots for me. I'm used to just talk to you. Doing it for you. Hey, girl. Hi! Just talk to us. <laughs> Hello, oh, all the way from Tampa. Hi, Rosa, hi, Gloria. I got you covered, hey. <laughs> okay, so I have enough people in here. Okay, I'm used to having one or two people, so eight is good for me. Okay, so tonight, um, Melissa asked me to come on here. I am newly promoted to director. I promoted last month. Um, I've been with, hi. I've been with uh, Sensi for eight months now, and it has been a whirlwind, to say the least. I have 34 amazing, 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 I could say amazing a thousand times, um, people under me. I have one guy, and the rest are gals, and they are my life. I love them to pieces. Um, I would not be here without my team and they know it and I let them know it on a daily basis um, they sorry somebody texted me so I would, let me just push that up they my first I guess tip um, is hi Kimberly um, my first tip is really uh, you need to grow that team and you need to not just you don't want to just recruit don't just recruit because you're supposed to recruit you want to recruit and you want to build leaders you want to be able hi Allison you want to create leaders underneath you you don't want to just recruit and then have uh, people who sometimes put in sometimes don't you want to teach them to 
be leaders themselves because they're going to eventually hopefully recruit and you don't want them to not really know what they're doing you want them to feel comfortable in their business you want them to love their business and you're there uh, to help them hi Allison um, so really quick I'm just gonna show you the chaos of notes that I have here so bear with me I'm a little bit of a squirrel it's kind of my nickname uh, I kind of go all over the place so bear with me I'm very sorry uh, so here I put um, I really wanted to go over my game changer my game changer was when I stopped telling myself that I couldn't become a director I am somebody who battles and when I say battle, hi Courtney, I mean battle. Uh, within hygiene, within my own head. I am my worst critic. I am my worst enemy. You know, I tell myself, or I've really, I've honestly have become so much better at it. I was telling myself on a daily basis, you're not good enough. There's no way you would become director. There's like you're not worthy you aren't good enough and when you tell yourself that and you're constantly hearing that not only from haters that you're gonna have on the outside because honestly when it comes to it not everybody is gonna want to see you succeed and that's just how life is but when you are your own worst enemy up here it really can ruin your business and you need to be able to not be your worst enemy but be your best supporter so the day that I decided that I was worthy and the day that I decided that I was good enough was my game changer because I right away just my mindset changed mindset is huge people mindset is so big uh, you need to remember I don't know how many people got to go to um, SFR but SFR was huge SFR actually was the start of my game changer it lit a fire under me it showed me that Sensi isn't just warmers and wax and I used to say that all the time but you really truly believe it once you step foot into a Sensi event the love and the energy and the spirit that just overwhelms you. I remember going live when I was um, there and crying on my live. Oh, as a thank you, Cassie. Um, yes, SFR is Sensi Family Reunion. Uh, for those who are new, don't know, uh, maybe haven't heard of the um, the shortened version. The the keynotes and the speeches and seeing um, like Orville and Heidi and all of Sensi family <laughs> I love you um, was absolutely amazing and the speech that Heidi had given was all about mindset you either have a set mindset or a growth mindset and a set mindset is someone who is stuck in their ways and uh, doesn't I guess implement those ways to grow and doesn't um, pretty pretty much negative like you oh I can't do that or I'm afraid to do that or I won't be able to do that cut those out you know stop uh, she said at the end of those sentences there's a really big three-letter word that you can put at the end of that and it's yet and yet was such a powerful word for me because she had us write down and if you guys do the same I really would love absolutely love if you guys would take a notebook out you know it doesn't matter what you have even a piece of paper from your printer and write down three things that you don't feel like you're good at or you don't think that you're worthy of and it could be as silly as I'm not good at cleaning my house and just put yet at the end and it just absolutely will blow you mind blow your mind at how much that sentence changes just from putting those three little let uh, letters at the end of it and you want to know what one of my sentences were I'm not good enough to be a director and at the end when she had us put that yet I said you want to know what that's right because 
why not? Why am I not good enough to be a director? Why am I not worthy of being a director? I am. And when you are able to do that mindset change and put yourself up, I'm going to show you guys. The day that I told myself I am good enough, I put this here. And it was the first thing I put up there. I really, it's kind of lame. I should put more, but grow my Sensi team. I have my dream paycheck there. And then at the top, I have director. And I feel like that was so huge for me because I'm in this office all the time and I'm sure others know and whether your office is your couch or your office is your phone or whatever put as the back of your screen hi Melissa put as the back of your screensaver I'm going to be director put on your vision board director because I'm telling you, when you see it every day and you motivate yourself on a daily basis and you see it there, it changes the way that you think. Um, so that was one of the things that were a big, big game changer for me was the when I stopped telling myself that I wasn't good enough, when I stopped telling myself, and sorry, I'm just looking over at the, um, the notes over here, um, when I stopped telling myself that... I wasn't worthy because I'm not perfect I'm not I will never be perfect you know to me the only person that will ever be perfect is my Lord and Savior and I know for a fact that for the rest of my life I will continue to strive to be the best that I can be but I will never be perfect and I will never be somebody else and I'm gonna go kind of into that in a second of not um, comparing yourself to other people because that is something that I ch I was had a huge challenge of as well and that is something that I struggled with and hey I mean sometimes I do you know hi Maria sometimes I do struggle with it honestly and it's human nature but there's a big difference with being able to kick yourself in the butt and say okay knock it off because you're not going to be that person. You can learn different trades or different way to do things. Yes, comparison is a thief of joy. I hear Melissa say it all the time. And I can tell you right now, there are a lot of people who have helped me because I've reached out to people. And at uh, Sensi Family Reunion, I talk to people about it. And that is what is so amazing with being in this company is this company is not just selling and yeah it really is it's a horrible struggle Cass and I feel like everybody goes through it it's not just me and that's a great thing to think of as well like hey I'm not the only one I'm not the only one that you know has a bad day so get up stop feeling sorry for yourself and take into action because you know I always say to my girls and you could ask them knowledge is power knowledge is power you better be on your phone. If you want to be director, star director, superstar director, you better be on your phone. And instead of scrolling through Facebook and liking posts, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. There are so many amazing, amazing trainings. You love these people. You think that their posts are amazing. I bet you 80% of them have a YouTube channel, which I'm, don't kill me. I'm trying my best to get the courage to do it. But... I'll get there. I know that I will. And I tell myself every day I get one step closer to a goal that I have. Um, support is key and helps build up. Yes, absolutely. Um, go and while you're doing the dishes, don't tell me you don't have time. You know, I am a mom of two. I am a wife. I'm a homemaker. I am a full-time business owner. I have my girls on my team who do two full-time jobs and are moms and go to school at night and they still find and I have some rock star girls and I tell them on a daily basis if you want to grow and you want to do this you know if you show up you go up I don't, if there's not a training find a training Sensi is amazing and they give us so many different outlets of learning and trainings and if they don't have something that day or you've gone through everything <laughs> yes, she is since day one, Melissa. Day one. 
Anyway, I'm gonna cut this area short. Uh, so what I was gonna say is, if you don't have something that, you know, if we're not posting something to learn or to read or to watch because as directors or leaders, even if you're not a director, I was doing it to my girls even before I was a director. It is, don't wait for somebody to give, oh, read this. This will help your business. No, don't rely on other people. You, rely on you. This is your business. This is your business. Please, don't rely on other people. You need to go out there and you need to find things to learn. And you need to find things to help your business and to give you more knowledge. And knowledge is powerless if you don't put into action. And I learned that um, from... Callie. Callie and Becca are amazing. They're superstar directors. They are gold. Uh, just as, like, I, Melissa, uh, Louisa, Jill, Becca, I love watching all of their lives, all of their stuff. I may not get to it when it's live, but I get to it. Um, and when you watch those things, it's awesome, but if you're not applying yourself and you're like, oh, that's such a good idea, I should bring my testers to Starbucks. Okay, I'll do it next week. And then you don't do it. And then, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. You have to make sure that you're actually doing it and you're actually applying yourself because guess what? Your little testers aren't gonna walk themselves to Starbucks and have a picket fence that says, I am owned by Cassie, you should order Scentsy. You need to go there, you need to sniff. <laughs> you need to sniff them, you need to organize papers, you be on the telephone, call your sister and be like, hey, uh, act like, a con I mean, I'm not joking, this is something I would do. I'd be like, Sammy, um, can you just like, I'm gonna call you in 20 minutes. Can you just act like a customer? And I'm just gonna be like, yeah, that's a, I'm so happy you love your diffuser. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> because people, for some reason, we all have that little bit of not trusting, you know? And when they hear that other people love it, which is why VIP groups are out of this world, and VIP groups, if you don't have one, please, I'm begging you, please get one. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. It's such an amazing way to connect. Your customer shouldn't be a customer without a relationship. You shouldn't be selling, I'm just gonna take a drink really quick. You know, relationships are so important in this. Yes, yes, hallelujah. <laughs> if I could do hearts myself, I would. Um, you should have relationship with your customers. I call my customers not customers. Every time I talk to them, I say, hey, Sensi family, because guess what? You guys are my Sensi family, and I couldn't do it without my team, and I couldn't do it without my my uh, my fellow Sensi sisters, but guess what? I could never do it without my customers, and I need them to know how important they are to my family, and how important they are to me, and how much our relationship means. It's not just a hand me money, I hand you Sensi. It's a, I wanna know how your daughter's doing. I wanna know how your dog's doing. Weren't you just doing a, um, a renovation on your house? How's it going? You should send me pictures. You need to have that relationship with people because when you have that relationship, they're not gonna go to anybody else. Oh, shizzy. She just said you do. That's a lot of people that are gonna see this, girlfriend. Are you trying to hurt me? <laughs> I was panicking and there's only 12 people watching this live right now. Um, okay, I will make sure that I upload it in HD. Um, but you need to create a relationship. Please, if you take anything away from this, it is don't treat customers just like they're regular old customers, people walking in and out of a store, because we don't have a store. You know, our heart is our store. Our, our world that we live in, in this little sensey world, this is who we are. And we're not just selling sensey. We're 
selling ourselves, you know, because there's there are other sensi people out there, and there's people that could potentially take our sensi clients away, and what's going to keep them there? They're going to be there because they love you and they've created this bond with you and they don't want to go to other people because you treat them the best and there's no way anybody else could treat them as good as Brittany does because if they did, I'd be shocked because my customers and my Sensi family are everything to me and they know it. Okay, so I've gone over, make sure that my game changer was when I stopped telling myself I couldn't do it and I believed that I could do it and I put it up there in my little vision board and um, you know get that icky bitty committee out of your head my other one was please for the life of you don't just listen apply and if you don't have someone don't just wait for hello don't just wait for somebody to hand you something to read or to learn you are your boss you are an owner of a company act like it and go find stuff grow knowledge apply please um also tips be you i am weird and i love it i'm weird i'm awkward i'm weird i'm kooky and i love it i love that about me i love that I crack myself up and sometimes I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing. I have foot in mouth syndrome. I say things that I probably shouldn't say and that's okay. It's okay because it's me and I can't change that and for a while I tried to change it and I tried to be like everybody else and I was like, and I'm talking outside of Sensi. I tried to just be like everybody else and I need to realize or I did realize why why am I trying to be like everybody else you know I have this really 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 favorite saying and I wish that I prepared better because I didn't think I was gonna uh, go so deep into the like how weird I am but there's a saying and I'm gonna probably butcher it but where am I at Oh no, Melissa, I hope it's okay. I think I'm going to go over 20 minutes. I'm sorry. Um, but it said, like, let everybody else see your weirdness. Like, bask in it. You should love it. And if you love it, everybody else is going to love it. And if you're ashamed of it, everybody else is going to be ashamed of it. You need to own it. Own it, girl or guy. Be you. Nobody else can be you and guess what nobody else can be them and nobody else can be them and nobody else can be Melissa Cassie Jess You know all these people because that's the only Jess. That's the only Brittany. That's the only Cassie. That's the only Melissa. So please Also another great thing I tell my girls is Yes authentic the three core values of Sensi authenticity generosity and simplicity. I mean, what three core be like values could be better? More guy. <laughs> Listen, I have to make sure that everybody knows that I'm talking to them. Um, I mean, those values, I think that they did awesome like everything else. Like, I'm literally obsessed. Oh, great. Talking about obsession. Be passionate. People can see when you're being fake. If I don't like a product, honestly, I'm like, hey, I'm, you know, if someone's like, how do you think the car bars are? I'm like, they're great. They just, you know, they don't last as long as I would like them to. And I am very truthful and very honest with my customers. And I'm like, if you want something that I think is awesome, you should absolutely, I'm life scent packs. Holy crud. And people can see this. They see the passion. They see how much you love a product. And they're like, oh, she loves that. I'm gonna try that because I'll tell you right now if she likes it that much I'm probably gonna like it that much people see how much you're passionate about something washer whiffs don't get me started don't get me started washer whiffs are amazing multi-use hello and they make things smell good so I like it uh, 
when people see that you're passionate and you're real and you're authentic and you're not just trying to push on, oh, you should get this too and you should get that too because they're going to think, yes, obsessed. Um, but with when people think that you're just pushing things on them just because you want their money now, 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 and you want bigger, bigger, bigger PRV, they're not going to want it. They're going to see right through you. Be authentic. Tell them what you truly love. If you don't like something, tell them what you don't love. Excuse me. And then on top of that, if they love it, be like, I am so stinking happy that you love that product. Be happy for them. Everybody's going to like something different. You know, nobody is going to like every single thing you like. You're not going to like every single thing everybody else likes, but that's what makes us us. Me, me, you, you. Okay, let's see. What else? Told that. Oh, told that. I'm a hot mess if you haven't. Listen, if you guys think that being a director means you have to be like and all neat and tidy, let me just show you really quick what I'm working with, guys. Do you see this mess? It's no lie. How about this? Look at that. I mean, I've got boxes everywhere. That's a spare bed, just so you know. My, I'm a hot mess express, but that's okay. It's how it works for me. It's how I run my business, how my husband doesn't know. He is like, how do you do this? How do you do this? I'm like, I don't know. I just know that that's under that and that's over there. You don't have to be perfect to make it work and be successful and do you you know this is me and I'm not neat unfortunately I wish I was sometimes but hey as long as it's working for you it's working for you uh, and I'm just I just really honestly I'm just being very transparent and I'm showing you like Meg's bar is right here I gotta bring that to her and then I got this for one of my girls and it's just me and it's where I am and it's Oh, you guys are talking. Okay, so let me see. Next thing. Oh, okay. I think this is my last thing. I think that I got through pretty much everything that I wanted to show. Um, work hard, you know, um, and think outside of the box. It's not just going to come to you if you don't put work into your business and no, not at all. I am not perfect. Not in the least bit. And you want to know what? I think that's what makes me successful. Because, you know, I always used to think that my quirkiness and my awkwardness and my weirdness and my jokester, I'm like very not serious. Not, I'm, a, I'm not serious a lot of the times. And I'm serious when I need to be. But why be serious? Life is so serious all the time. So if you can make things fun and have fun with your business and love your business oh you're gonna make me cry stop it okay um think outside the box guys have fun you know people what did I write here I can't read my own handwriting but it's all right um make it fun you know like the Starbucks thing that is thinking outside of the box, you know? Who would have thought going to Starbucks and organizing your testers would be a great business decision? Somebody thought of it, wasn't me, you know? But thank you to whoever did. And they thought outside the box, and guess what? They are more successful now because of it. Don't, like, oh, who said this? I'm sure multiple people have said it, but forget the four, or the four, the, the three Fs. Friends, family, Facebook. This is not where your business is going to grow. Your business will grow to a certain extent, but you really need to get outside that comfort. That comfort zone, ooh, it's icky. You know, it feels good when you're in it, but when you get out of it, oh, you could breathe bigger, you could stretch arms bigger, you know. And you will see when you get out of it how big of a difference it is and in a good way uh, you know one of my favorite 
will not make you rich, not at all. It will start your business off maybe, unlike me, my family um, and uh, friends were not that supportive. They are now seeing the consistency. Consistency is key. That is another thing I wanted to say. I could talk forever. This is bad. I've already been on for half an hour. It's nine o'clock on the dot. But consistency is key. Please, everyone has dips. When you have a dip, guess what? The only way to go is up, up, up. So you're going down like everybody else, me, I'm sure Melissa's had dips, Cassie, you know, everybody, everybody has dips. Heidi, Orville, Becca, Callie, they've all had dips. The only difference between me, you, everybody, and people higher than us, no matter what rank, they've all heard more no's and they've had more dips. And the only thing that's different is that they've heard it more and they've gotten out of it and they've gotten through it and pushed past it because every single one of us, let me see, uh, every single one of us is going to go through that. Every sing I mean, I've had it multiple times, but I wrote it through and when I was in that dip and I was coming back out, guess what? I learned so many things. Yes, yes, absolutely, Melissa. Every business is like that. I'm sure McDonald's has dips. I'm sure Dunkin' Donuts has dips. I'm sure my favorite place in the whole entire world, Panera, has dips, you know? Every business has dips. It's a cycle, like Melissa said. And you want to know what? Those dips, whether or not you want to believe it, are good. Because when you're in that dip and you're low and all you could think about is getting back up, that is when your brain is going. That is when you're thinking new things and you want to get outside the box because you're desperate to get out of that dip and you come out stronger, more knowledgeable. You have probably more t like uh, tricks and, and things that you thought of to get yourself out and you you came out better than you did before at least that is how I did because when I do have those dips I feel like my brain um, keeps going and keeps going and keeps going because I'm trying to think what can I do to get out of this dip and then guess what I get out of that dip and I'm like ooh, I've got some more knowledge and guess what it's awesome because guess what when you're going good and everything's right and you're like okay this is awesome you're not really thinking new and outside the box because you're thinking, oh, this is great. What I'm doing is awesome. And you're sitting there trucking along doing what you normally do. But when you're in that dip, you're kind of forced to think more big outside the box. So try to see those those downs and those dips as a positive thing. And I can tell you right now, those dips won't be as torturous when you're in them. Um, okay, I think I, I think I did kind of everything that I was doing and if you missed anything and if you came in partially uh, through it, I'm going to be um, posting it so you could watch the replay. Now I know that Melissa said to please uh, do some like Q&A's. Does anybody have questions? Uh, does anybody want to know something that maybe I didn't cover? I would love to hear uh, what you guys are asking or if you have any questions yes think outside the box I'm telling you it is scary oh Will Smith had this amazing video that I I um have watched so many times but I posted it a few times and if you haven't seen it I'll make sure that I post it um, in my group and also in Melissa's um, it is Will Smith and he talks about how success is on the other side of fear. Fear, scary, I mean it's fear, right? Um, you're going to be terrified when you're doing it, but let me tell you, when you get on the other side, it is so worth it. Uh, think of it as, that's scary, but I can't wait to get through that because I know what's on the other side. And when you're scared of something, just always tell yourself, success is on the other side of fear. Um, I'm gonna post thank you I'm gonna post the video uh, when I find it I have it somewhere in my saved videos um, I'll post it to here and I hope that I helped any if I helped anybody 
I just, whew, I just hope I helped at least one person. How did you get comfortable enough to say I am an independent Sensi consultant when people who look at direct sales company as scams? Let me see. When I, I don't, I guess I don't care what they think. I think of it as you're missing out you know like I'm in this I know it's not a scam I am quite successful and absolutely loving every minute so I kind of feel like sad for them you know like when they okay so when people ask them why you know uh, they have their reasons so maybe instead of trying to convince them <laughs> it is amazing um, they'll I believe that they'll believe in their own time because they see how successful you are but if someone's in your face and you're like say you're at work and someone's like are you still doing that sensi crud and you're like yeah I'm actually doing really good and if they're like oh it's such a scam you just come back at them with love and with oh I'm so sorry you feel that way I really wish that you saw Sensi for what it really is and maybe it'll be like well what do you mean and they'll come back and if they're quiet then they're quiet but I've always had that confidence to say I'm an independent Sensi consultant because I truly believe in my company and I truly believe in what I share not sell share um, because it is so amazing and it's been such a blessing and it honestly the best way to counteract with them isn't to talk to them or isn't to tell them how amazing it is show them be confident tell them I'm really sorry you feel that way and I hope one day I can change your mind but if they don't want to change their mind then they're not going to so just be happy and show them and be present in your business and love your business and show people how much you love it because really I don't think words will help them but watching your actions actions speak a lot louder than words I'm sure we've heard that a lot in our lives just show them how much you love your business and how amazing it is and how successful you are because girl you're successful and never feel ashamed to say that you're a sensi consultant because you rock it yes show I really truly believe that there's really nothing you could say to them because some people when they think something they think something but let me tell you once they see how good you are and how and how well your business is and how much it's blessed you Leslie, you're here. Hi, Leslie. Um, recruiting. Okay, well, I am a director with seven recruits. It's not heard, or well, it's, it's heard of. Um, I have heard multiple people say, like, you should have um, 11 recruits. I think it was, I was hearing someone say, I don't exactly remember who said it or what, but uh, most of the time people have around 11 recruits when they're recruiting. Me personally, it goes with how, what I was talking about earlier when we were talking about um, products and when we're, hi, um, when we talk about our, our products to not always don't just try to push it on them. You want them to see your passion. You want them to see um, how much you love what you do. So when you're recruiting, um, please show them your passion. You know, don't word throw up on them, but when you really love something and you really love this company and you really love our products, they'll see it on your face. They'll see it in your body language. They'll see it in how you present yourself. Don't do word throw up. Open your ears and listen. There's cue words and there's cue sentences. People going, oh, I love that. Warmer, I just can't afford it. Ding, 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 ding. You know? Aha moment, as a lot of sensey people love to say. Um, you 
need to listen to those cues and then you can kind of say oh well you know if you have a party you can get um you can get it for free or half off if you have a qualifying party and they're like oh really i didn't know i could get it half off for free I'm like yeah girl yeah oh let me get you that free sensi and they're like okay like what do i do and then that way i do that and a lot of times hostesses who become to love the products they then think more about the um the business aspect we do find that we can uh get people in that don't ever have um have, have never had an experience with sensi before but mostly my hostesses and my vips are what end up coming onto my team because i do believe that people who like I think people should try the products before they, they they sign up because then they won't be trying to sell something that they've never tried and they've never fell in love with. But once they try it, they're going to fall in love. Um, let me make sure that I read. What are your best recruiting tips? Okay, so my tips, be passionate. Make sure that um, you're not word throwing. Open your ears. Listen, there's cues. I can't afford it. I don't have the money right now. I wish I could get that. Oh, how do you do what you do? Make sure that we do more of the listening and less of the talking. How can I book a party without feeling like I'm begging? Again, it really has to do with queuing. When someone's about to say, oh, I want to order tonight. Be like, what are you going to order? Oh, I wanted to get a warmer and a Sensi system and why don't we try to get that for you for free, you know? And then it's all about knowing and cue the cues and learning when is a good time and when's not a good time to offer it because when they have those uh, endorphins up because they're ready to buy something and they feel good about something and they really love this product, you, I feel like, have more of a um, percentage of getting that yes from them than getting uh, I'm not too sure because they're like oh I'm about to spend 70 bucks on this Sensi system and then you're like let's get this for free and then they're like what and then they're more apt to give you that yes that you're looking for I'm sorry one second oh and brand yourself that is a big thing something as silly as a excuse me as silly as a cup is not that silly. People see you sipping your cup and they think, oh, you're so scentsy. Or people see that scentsy logo on your back and they, you, you're literally a walking billboard. Um, but that's in another time. Okay. I ignored Brit for the, for forever. I saw her post and I was like, what the heck is this? After her consistency, I was like, oh, okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> Sign me up. It is. I, she talked to me a few times and I didn't push. Please never push with your recruits. I'm telling you, you push and you get somebody on your team who doesn't want to sign up and isn't ready, they're not going to do good. About, I could say probably 90% of them that you are pushing and you're like, oh, come on, you'd be so good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come uh, on. They're going to fail because they weren't ready and they weren't uh, where they needed to be. You know, when I, this is my third direct sales company, people. Like, this is not my first time around and let me tell you the other two failed and failed miserably. Uh, they were just horrible. It was not a good time. And when my husband and Luke's, or Jill's husband Luke were pushing me and pushing me and pushing me, I was just like, no, get away, get away. I don't want to do this. I screwed up twice. I'm going to be a laughing stock. I don't need to fail again. Like that's all people are going to be thinking is here she goes again. And I didn't want that. I didn't want to be embarrassed because something else failed. And you want to know what? They stopped pushing me and I prayed about it a lot. And Jill and Luke were trying to get their um, Punta Cana trip for the both of them and I was about, I was like, Jill, I want to help you. Let me order something. She's like, oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. And I was about to spend like 200 bucks, guys. And I was like, 200 bucks? $99 to start my own business and I can get a whole bunch of stuff free and half off? What am I doing? And you want to know what? It took that, like thing for me to go in it 
it wasn't them pushing me. It wasn't them telling me you'll be so good. It wasn't them saying, you should do this, you should do this. It was me on my own time when I felt like, okay, I'm ready. I think I could do this. And you want to know what? I was ready and I felt good about it. And I, I truly believe I succeeded because I was ready. And you never want to push somebody because when they're not ready, they're not going to succeed. That you need to follow up with them. Please do. Make sure you do that follow up. I usually do a once a month check in. Hey, we're having this special this month. I just wanted to let you know maybe um, it's something that you would like better than the one that they had or something like that. Or I'm very, I'm not pushy. I'm very nonchalant about it. I'm like, hey girl, hey. Like, I know you were wanting to start Sensi and last month wasn't the greatest for you, but this month we have an insane sign up uh, incentive. So I just wanted to let you know. And they're usually like, okay, thank you. Or, oh my gosh, that's great. Uh, let's do it or something like that. But don't say, are you ready yet? Never say, are you ready yet? Oh, Lord, please. Um, but let it be their decision, please. That's at least my biggest thing is because it worked for me when it was my time and when it uh, when it felt like I was ready. And look at me, you know. Uh, not saying that if people get pushed in, they wouldn't be good. I'm just saying that uh, I feel like that is, it gives you a better opportunity. Okay, so... We've been at this a little bit longer than I was supposed to. Sorry. Um, any other questions? Yes, I did that for you, Christina, and Christina is rocking it. She, I asked in the beginning, and uh, she didn't sign up until last month, and she is freaking rocking it. I'm so proud of her, and again, I just let it be when she was ready and when it was her time. Any other questions? Well, that was a weird face. I know it's usually like a 30 second lag, so I wanna wait. I promise you I'm not just trying to stare into the camera weirdly. When people aren't participating in online parties, what are good ways to motivate the group? Okay, so online parties, uh, thankfully have been pretty successful for me. I think that one of the big reasons is I don't just post pictures, you know? I don't just uh, say, okay, today we're talking about this, and then we, every day it's just boring flyers that if they've been in Sensi parties before, they've probably seen something very similar, if not the same thing. Um, what I do is live. Live, guys, it's huge. Live is so big. It's When people have that face to the name and they see, again, it's all about the passion, guys. When they see how much you love what you're selling and they see that you're real and you're not just typing up something that sounds good and they're like, and you're like pulling or let's see, oh, like this, guys. I was so nervous and this is how I talk on my lives. I they They feel me, they see me, they see my body they see me like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. They see my body language and how much I love what I'm doing. And I was so nervous to come on here. I was shaking like a leaf. Hell, I'm still shaking like a leaf a little bit. But guess what? I had my Scentsy Spray. Cinnamon calms me down and Cinnamon Bear is my ish. Jillian hates the cinnamon she doesn't understand how I love it but guess what that's what makes us all different but I sprayed the heck out of this room I went in front of the air conditioner and I was and I was spraying all over here and I was spraying it around my seat because it calmed me down and when I go on my lives and I'm sitting there showing them the room spray instead of like there's a picture and that's a room spray and they're great and they last forever and they're only eight dollars no monotoned, boring, people probably school passive, but when they see somebody live and they have somebody to interact with, it changes the game. So, as you can see, when I am presenting something and I see, um, when they could see me and my passion and how much I love it, I feel like I get that better interaction. Also, something else I do is I participate. I participate in what I'm doing. I go on a live and I'm like, everybody is shopping your PJs. Grab your favorite drink. And you want to know what I do? I grab my favorite drink. I get my PJs. I throw in that mom bun and I take a picture. 
I have my favorite drink and I'm in my PJs. Who else? Throw a picture down below. They don't want to see someone who's perfect. They want to see somebody who looks like this and they're about to, they're live. And I have my hair here and I'm looking like a hot mess. And I can tell you right now, I don't have makeup on. I wasn't even sure I was going to put makeup on for you guys, but I thought I don't want to scare you guys. It's not just six or ten people. It's more people and I want to look presentable. <laughs> but I interact. I do what they're doing. I don't expect them. I never What do I tell you girls in my in my team? I don't tell you something I wouldn't do. Don't expect your group in your Facebook party to do something that you're not going to do. Lead by example. Even if it means show them your hot mess too because guess what I am a hot mess and that is okay and I have my drink and my mom bun and guess what people love it they love seeing how real I am and how I don't take myself seriously and how when I'm going through my uh, my videos I have interruptions by kids and I've got this one Ma, let me touch this and I'm like hey everybody so these are the ones that make me look like this and I do funny things like that so they can relate to me because when people I love you too um, when people can relate to you it is golden again relationships people we're not just sellers we're not we're not somebody that you walk into Walmart and they're forced to say hi how are you today no we are business owners and everyone's business is different than the other person's and be you and if that means having Elijah on your hip and you starting off like hey everybody I love working at home and this is the reason why my son's not feeling too good tonight so I hope you don't mind I have a little sensey buddy tonight um, but uh, let's get to it Elijah will show you a couple of his favorites and I'll show you a couple of my favorites and we're just gonna have a party so that's kind of how I feel like I benefit and I strive in my parties is by just being me and again it really honestly when it comes down to our businesses there really is it's it's branches off into different kind of roots and branches and twigs and stuff but it all comes down to these few just I guess core values of of Sensi you know authenticity be you you know get that relationship be yourself and have people connect to you you know simplicity don't drive yourself crazy do one thing at a time I know that I, at one point I was trying to do way too many things and I was not finishing anything because I was trying to do 80 things at once focus on one thing simplify it don't drive yourself crazy and then with generosity is I love giving back to my people I love showing them how much I love them and I love that relationship we have between each other um, anybody else have any other questions or would you like me to get out of your faces? Let's see if I can get any other questions. If not, I hope you all have an amazing night. Uh, thanks for listening to my voice for almost an hour now. Gosh, this was supposed to be 20 minutes. I'm so sorry, Melissa. I know, I hate this lag. I really should have had myself up on here. All right, I think that that's it, everybody. I've waited that like 30 seconds they say that there's that lag. Um, thank you so, 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 so much. I had so much fun, actually, guys. Like, I loved talking to you all and I love that I hope well I hope that I was able to uh, help at least one person oh this has been so much fun I love you all I don't even if I don't know you I love you I love Scentsy and I love what I do and I'm so blessed and I feel so amazed that it has just brought me into each and every one of your lives my team other people I never thought I would uh, meet. Oh, I just love Sensi. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. Bye, and God bless.